What is happening and welcome to another Photography Talk episode. And as I saw the title that you clicked on here a moment ago suggests, I'm gonna break down my favorite camera strap that over the course of my entire time in photography, the camera strap that has really come up to the top and it looks like a pyramid, but anyway, you get the point. I've tested a lot of camera straps over the years and especially over the last five, I narrowed it down to just simply three, technically two camera straps that I use religiously. I say three because technically two of them are by the same company. Um, and another one is from a separate company. Um, but over the last handful of years, these are the two straps that I have used religiously. There's not, I've tested some others along the way for, for reviews or to test out for companies that send them to me. Um, and you may say, well, well, I actually never saw some of these reviews. Well, that's because I really wasn't that impressed. Again, when it comes to camera straps, I'm, I'm very, you, I'm tough to impress because when you look at, when you have your expensive camera gear, there's a lot of checks that really have to be there in order for me to get impressed. And over the years, I've definitely feel that the, the ones that I have narrowed down really check off the boxes. And ultimately, I'm gonna share with you the two straps that, uh, that I'm referring to here in a minute. And you'll find it's literally, the, the reason why the one that has really risen to the top, it's just such a badass strap. And whereas one had some issues uh, a little while back with other people, I never had any problems. The other one has, n I've never heard any problems or any failure or failing points. So ultimately it's the one that I'm gonna share with you here in a minute that is my biggest, is my best camera strap that recommendation that I could make. Now, one thing I do wanna point out is, especially over the last three years, my use of camera straps have definitely shifted. Uh, prior to that, I would, I would, you would never see me without a camera strap. But now that I've started doing a lot more video, I find probably, it's funny because when I head out, I'm, these days, I'm probably doing 70% video and 30%, and I'm just kind of pulling these numbers out of my ass right now, but you get the point. I'm doing more video than I am photography these days. So when I'm doing video, I don't use a camera strap, but when I'm shooting photos, man, yeah, there's a, well, actually, I guess we can get to the point. I'm using the Hold Fast Money Maker, and it's one a strap that I've been using for, actually, this one right here. I've had this sucker here, which I'll get into details about this here in a moment, but I've had this thing for four years. So this is kind of technically a video four years in the making. Um, but going back to them, so I don't use camera straps the way that I used to. Um, these days, well, let me clarify. When I'm shooting film, as many of you know, uh, I started shooting film again last year, uh, and this is almost exclusively on my film cameras because, I mean, come on, look at this. I did a video on the uh, the Canon uh, AE-1 just a couple months ago. Yeah, I think I pointed out in the video that the, the strap looks absolutely, it it fits perfectly with this. Now I have two of these here. This is the, the Bison leather. And then of course I have Hold Fast Gears. This is their vegan leather one as well, which actually, I like the OD green and the black. This one is, this is just a work of art right here. Anyways, in today's video, I'm gonna give you the lowdown of why these are my go-to straps and why, hey, if you're on the market for a camera strap, a, a camera strap that's gonna last you for years, why I think this is gonna be a great camera strap for you. But first friends, look, we put these sort of videos together to help you get out there and make more informed decisions. In this particular case, look, if you're on the market for a camera strap, Look, this is not a sponsored video. This is just simply, I'm addressing one of the questions that comes across my radar scope quite often. And this happens to be a strap that I've been using for four years. And going back to what I mentioned a moment ago, or I think I mentioned a moment ago, I've tested a lot of camera straps. And at the end of the day, I keep coming back to this one. One of the straps that I was, you guys have heard me talk about on the channel many times, which I love this company, Peak Design. Um, this is a camera strap that I have used and I still use it every so often, but nine out of 10 times when I need a cam camera strap, I'm now using my my uh, Holdfast just simply because 
for reasons you're gonna find out here in a moment. But the point being here is, look, I'm gonna share with you my two cents. You may agree, you may not. But if you decide to spend your money or if you're looking for a recommendation on a good camera strap, then hey, one of these might be the right strap for you. With that said, my friends, pull up a seat in, uh, well, yeah, you get that idea. Let's go. All right, let's break down some of the details about these straps. Now, as many of you know, I've been using Holdfast gear, boy, it's been it's been a long time. Uh, the Moneymaker Solo, this came out four years ago, and I picked up one right away. Now, I have two versions. Uh, one is the Bison Leather. Now, of course, this is the original one that I had. Uh, and then, of course, the other is the Vegan Leather. Now, the Bison Leather, this just feels right with my film camera. So, uh, this is almost not almost exclusively on my film cameras these days. It's a great vintage look, but is also incredibly comfortable. Now the uh, the vegan one, this one I will use quite often on like my R5 when I don't want to. The, the Bison one, this is this is my this is my pride and joy. I absolutely love how this this strap has developed uh, or has seasoned, however you want to, uh, has broken in over the course of the last four years. So as I've mentioned probably a handful of times, if I'm going into areas where I know I'm going to be getting just extremely dirty or you know some really excessive train that I'm going to be in, not train, but like I'm going to be running through some bushes and things that could scratch it and get it all jacked up, which it's made for that. It'll take it all day long. Um, I'm going to use the vegan one just simply because, well, it's... Uh, well, I care about this one more than this one. Um, <laughs> and so, uh, anyways, both of these are absolutely beautiful straps here, but uh, my R5, R6, I'll use the vegan one. And then my, uh, unless I'm going to like a, uh, like a, someplace where I want to dress up a little bit, I'm bringing my camera gear, I will use my R5 uh, or R6, depending upon what camera I'm taking with me with the Bison Leather one, because again, this is just a, a, a very classic look. Now, one thing that I do want to point out, regardless which strap that we're talking about here, both of these, now the Bison one has a little bit thicker, as you as you can see right here. This has a little bit thicker uh, shoulder strap, and but you know regardless which one we're talking about here, the shoulder strap is big, so it doesn't cut into your neck or shoulder, which is really nice, especially when you have a, a heavier camera and lens that you're carrying around all day. Now one thing I do want to point out, but you know it's funny. As I was putting this video together and wanted to kind of share with you all the all the things that really make these straps absolutely amazing. Now, one of the things that, that these these come with is a stabilizer strap that basically which keeps the the shoulder pad in place. Um, I don't have that, guys. Uh, normally, what it does is it goes it attaches uh, and it goes underneath your arm on each one of these and it keeps it locked to your side. It's one of the things I've never used with my Holdfast gear, but they both come with it. So FYI, uh, you have a stabilizer strap, which you don't see here that is going to keep things a little bit anchored down a little bit. Now, if you've seen me talking about Holdfast gear, regardless of the camera bags or their camera straps in the past, one of the things that you're gonna constantly hear me talking about is the level of material that these guys use on their camera bags, or in this case, we're talking about a camera strap. And one of the things here, if you look at how chunky the stainless steel hardware is, and this stuff just doesn't corrode, but this is, I mean, we're talking just, actually, I'm not sure what is on the vegan here. It looks, let's see, it looks almost identical. So I can only assume that these are made out of the same alloy. Um, but again, it's extremely durable hardware. And speaking of, uh, of the D-ring here, uh, this is actually on the front and works with various accessories like the Holdfast uh, phone pouch, or you can actually get a lens pouch with that as well, which neither I use, but I figured seeing that I was tooling around th with this would be a good time to bring that up. And at the end of the day, we're talking about beautiful craftsmanship. I mean, these things are absolutely works of 
art here. Um, they're actually made in, uh, I think it's Bigsby, Oklahoma. Anyways, made here right in the U.S. It's a small family-run business. Now, with regards to price, now one thing I do want to point out here: these are these are not inexpensive straps. So if you're on a on a tight budget, um, this is not going to be the strap for you. Although, although if you are there's two things that I've always said you want to spring, actually technically three things, but two mainly, that you want to kind of flex your budget. One's on a tripod and the other is on a camera strap. And the, the third is a, a camera bag. A camera bag is one of those, but camera bags, I think most people often go through or have multiple camera bags. But the leather straps, you're gonna be looking at about $180 for these. And for the vegan one, it's $175 uh, or $200. I think they have a uh, the olive and the drab version uh, is 200 bucks. Now, again, I'm gonna put all the links down below as well. All right, friend, let's break down the anatomy of what makes a good camera strap. And the first thing that I'm going to address here with you is, well, it's actually the 900 pound grill in the room that is comfort. You want something, a good strap is going to fit well and it's going to distribute the weight of your gear and it's going to keep you comfortable. And the next one, this is, you know, this is uh, one of the more, one of the biggest benefits. I had to get my thoughts here straight here for a moment. One of the, one of the big benefits of having a camera strap like this here is not only do you have hands free, my hands are all kind of looking all strange here, but anyways, the speed and access, a good camera strap is going to keep your gear easily accessible so you can grab your camera and shoot quickly when you need it. Next, let's talk about balance. Personally, I like a crossbody strap like this because it helps balance the weight of your gear across your body for improved shooting experience. You know, it's funny, the, the next one we're gonna be talking about here is fit. And if you spend any time in a, like a touristy area like New York City or San Fran or wherever, and you see a lot of the tourists running around and so forth, and you know, let's see if I can get this to look like this here. How many times have you seen somebody where, okay, this is over exaggerating, where they have a camera and it, it, it is pegged right up on their, their side because the camera strap is too tight. Or you see the camera hanging down near their knees or they, they tie it up because it's not, it's not fitted well. So the idea, where I'm leading with this, you want to ensure that the strap actually fits your body. You don't want it too tight and you don't want it dangling loose. Now, one of the things I really like about Holdfast here is not only do they offer multiple sizes, but you have multiple adjustment points, for example, on this particular uh, strap itself here. So you can actually get the fit to, the, you, you get the fit to fit really, you get the, you get the fit to fit to fit. What did you say? way too many fits there, but you get the point. You, get, you can get it set up to where it's going to fit exactly where you want it. Next, we're talking about materials, and this is one that, boy, you know, these guys really, Holdfast really crushes it when it comes to utilizing the finest materials in their straps. And I'm, I'm holding up their, their vegan leather here because the reason why I picked up this, this bison leather here, this thing is indestructible. I mean, I'm sure you could probably jack it up, but I have beaten the hell out of this thing. And it's fun. When I go out on my, my off-road adventures where there's going to be mud and heavy dirt, that's where I draw the line with this one right here uh, because I just absolutely love it. And when I go out like a Joshua Tree or a uh, Death Valley where there's just insane heat and you know they well I do condition the hell out of it there's just certain areas that I don't bring it but I will use this one right here um, and this thing I like because again as I mentioned earlier this OD green uh, color on this just really works well but uh, not getting too far off topic here hold fast going back to the materials not only does this look really good but these are extremely durable as well so these tools will certainly outlast any of the rest of my gear and that's just testament to this strap right here this thing again this is four years old and now one thing I do recommend, and I'm not sure what Holdfast recommends, but I do condition it every six months or so. So with leather, you want to, you know, every six months or so, that's, again, that's what I do. I clean it and then I use a leather conditioner on it. And as you can see, this thing looks absolutely fantastic for being a, you know, for being a four-year-old strap, this looks absolutely amazing. Last on this list, you want to have a rock solid 
connection, the point from where the strap connects to your camera. You want this thing to have a Vulcan death grip on your gear. And that's where high quality gear or materials being used in these things really comes into play. Your gear really depends on it. Now, a moment ago, I shared with you there for the last handful of years, you know, while I've tested a lot of different camera straps, there were two that really stood the test of time. And that was my Peak Designs, or excuse me, <laughs> the Peak Design strap that I had and my two Holdfast gear straps. And this video isn't about what are my favorite straps of all time. This is addressing the question that what is my favorite, what is my favorite camera strap of all time? So there can't be two. And at the end, while there was a handful of reasons that made my Holdfast gear an easy pick for me, one of the things we're talking about here is having a rock solid connection. Now, what I'm gonna share with you next, it's funny because I just took my R5 that was recording that angle over there, off there so I can demonstrate because I just noticed this is on there right here. So this is, if you have a Peak Designer, you're familiar with it, these are the straps that they use with their with their uh, with their straps or the little connection or connectors rather, but what I'm going to share with you here, while this never happened to me, I'm going to put this back up here. Few moments later. Oops, I think my thing is off there. There we go. I didn't get back on the tripod. Anyways, they had a recall on those uh, those clips because some people the 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 connectors were a little bit too thin. And what was happening was people were, their cameras were falling to the ground. And so there were a lot of cases of it, but Peak Design jumped on it really fast and sent out people that reached out to them. They got sent out new connectors with much thicker cords. I've never heard a single case of a Holdfast owner uh, having their camera fall because of the of the, the materials that were was used in the straps. These things are absolutely bulletproof. Well, friends, that is it. You know, it's funny. This was supposed to be a quick overview <laughs> of the Money Maker and why I think it's one of the best camera straps that money can buy. And I think uh, I got a little winded on this one. Well, it took you long enough. But anyways, as I said earlier, um, I'm going to put a link in the description below if you want to pick up a Money Maker Solo. And they have various different versions as well. So definitely check them out. And uh, friends, that is it. Normally, this is the time of the video where I would talk to you a little bit about our current giveaway, but our current giveaway ended. And this, at the time where I'm shooting this video here, we haven't launched our new one, but in a few days, about two days, I'll be releasing the, the new, uh, actually, we'll be announcing the winners of the last uh, giveaway. We'll be announcing the upcoming giveaway, what three prizes we're going to be giving away. But one last thing, if you enjoy content like this, be sure to head over to Photography Talk, sign up for an account. It's free to do so and it gives you access to literally thousands of photography related articles on the site, including news articles about camera gear, photography tutorials, and much, much more. So uh, yeah, take a minute, sign up for an account and get access to material that will help you take your best shot. And friends, well, that is it for me here today. I'm going to uh, pack up my cameras. I'm going to get out of my uh, studio here. And so you get out there, stay healthy, and take your best shot.